This is a Tech Genie, and today I'm going to be doing a teardown of a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So here's the tools you're pretty much going to need. Heat gun, couple cards, razor blade, and you're going to definitely need a SIM tray remover. So first thing we're going to do is remove the SIM tray right now so we don't forget to later on there's a hole on the top. You just push it out, remove it and put it aside pretty much. Then you're going to lay the phone on the back. You take your heat gun, and this is a very important part, make sure you don't keep your temperature too hot. Keep it around 270 or so, and make sure you use a temperature control heat gun. You don't want to overheat this thing and end up damaging the battery components and stuff inside the phone. So we're going to go ahead and heat the whole entire back glass. And pretty much what I'm looking for is to heat the back glass to a point where it gets to the point where it's almost too hot to touch. But you don't want much more. You don't need much more than that. And we're just going to keep moving the heat gun around to spread the heat around on the whole back glass and not localize it. So I'm going ahead and just checking the temperature. Go ahead and heat this whole entire back. Go to the bottom especially in the top because that's where the most adhesive is. Sides is not really that much. It's really on the top and bottom where they put the most adhesive on there. And you want to go ahead and heat this around. And just to let you know, once you remove this back glass, it's not going to be water resistant or waterproof anymore. You're going to have to actually buy the same exact back glass that Samson sells with the same type of adhesive to make it waterproof again. So just to know that, I mean, if you don't care about the waterproofing, you can red tape it back on there if you want. So we're going to go ahead and keep heating this. And you're going to keep just going around. It's going to take about a couple minutes or so because it's going to take a while to get the temperature up hot enough. It may even take longer. It just depends on your room temperature and everything else. Now we'll keep heating this area. Go around to the bottom, especially in sides and corners. And then we'll move the heat gun in a few seconds. Go ahead and keep heating around here. Then go and put your heat gun aside. Take your razor blade. Make sure you keep this flat. Don't use the point. Actually, just do it like I'm showing you in the video. Keep it flat down, otherwise, you will crack the glass. Stick the card where I cut the slit already in. Then we're going to go ahead and move the card over to slice through the adhesive pretty much. It's going to be a little bit rough sometimes and make it look easier than it really is. But you want to cut through all the way around the adhesive. And just let the card do the work pretty much. Alright, once you do that then heat the other side so you can also make it as easy as you did that side. Always keep reapplying heat. And just go and touch it just to make sure it's hot enough. Okay, and then we're going to take the card. We're going to take a second card. And the reason why we're using two cards is so that we can keep that side up. It doesn't stick back to itself down. And just go around there. And then we're pretty much through. One thing to be careful is just don't take the back off. Actually be very careful still because there is a cable there and I'm pointing right at it. So take your plastic tool so you don't short anything out or anything like that. Just go right at that connector and then use it and just lever it up pretty much. Then you can go ahead and remove and separate the two halves. And then there you go pretty much for this part. Okay, now you're going to have to use a P800 precision screwdriver. And you're going to remove these screws to remove the back mid frame pretty much. So just go ahead and remove all these screws that I'm pointing at. And put them in there for storage or you keep them in a container. Okay, once you get done removing the screws, you take your plastic tool and start looking at the wireless charger. Don't pull on it, otherwise, you'll rip it. Try to get around the plastic and just gently lift it out. And then here you go, that's a 10 assembly with the wireless charging pad. i give you a closer up view right here. Put it aside. 
Now we're going for the speaker assembly and you just go and lift that up. And here's the speaker and the other antenna. You can see a speaker assembly right there. There you go. Put that aside there. Now make sure you always disconnect the battery. So we'll go and disconnect the battery first. And then once you disconnect the battery, then you can go and remove these cables that I'm pointing at right now. You want to make sure you get those all removed. Then here's one of the sensors. Very little guy, they're separate now. The other one was one piece. Mm, there you go. And then we'll go ahead and pretty much start removing the rest of the stuff. You want to go ahead and look at those SMA connectors. You remove that, remove this connector first. Then we get the plastic tool, go right under those SMA connectors. And we're just going to go and just lift them up. You don't need to put much force, they pop right out. Don't push it, just pull up on it pretty much and then get it underneath the motherboard leverage it up there is one screw holding it I just noticed so I'm gonna go and have to remove that screw on S8 they don't have that screw but on this particular one they do on this S9 so we're going to move that screw put it aside for safekeeping and then we'll get back to removing the board again hopefully this time will be a successful attempt Slide it right out, and then there we go. We got to extract it. Here's the camera assembly, which is a lot bigger than the S8 one. And here's the other side of the board, pretty much. I'm not going to go and take the shields off or anything, because once you do that, you pretty much destroy it. I don't want to destroy it point. I want to put it back together. So I'm just going to go and give you a good look at it. And then we'll go and look at the front camera assembly right here. Nothing special, we'll go and put that aside. Then we'll take a look at the chassis, which is actually way thicker aluminum, I notice. Here's your charging port area, and that'll be the next part. Okay, so now we're going to move the headphone jack. You can even move that screw in that connector, so I'm going to go and do that right now. And then we'll go and move the headphone jack pretty much and put that aside. Then you always just leverage it up. And there you go. Here's the waterproof ceiling they put around it. And better look at the headphone jack. Okay, yeah, that'll be it. Next for your charging port, you're going to move the four screws that's holding it in place. So I'm going, we're going to use the same screwdriver to remove the screws there. And put this aside for safekeeping. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Just put the screws back in when you, where you found it when you put it back together. It's pretty easy to change the charger port on these compared to like an S7 or earlier where the actual tabs go underneath the screen on this case here you can actually remove the charger port without having to remove the screen which is smart on Samson's part because the S7's and S6's were horrible for having to replace the charger ports on them so there you go and then there's a side tab there you gotta be very careful you just don't want to lift it up take a flat blade remove it off to the side there so you can unlatch it from the side otherwise you'll risk ripping it out so you go and do that, and then you go in and gently lift up at the um, charger. Once you go and lift up on the charger port, the whole thing will come up. This is your whole mic assembly, charger port, and stuff like that. I'm going to take a look at the waterproof ceiling around the charger port itself. You can see the other components like the microphones and so forth on this charger port. And it's nice to see it's a separate part because you can actually replace this pretty easily. So we'll go ahead and take one quick look at the bottom where the charger port went and you can see kind of where the waterproofing is done and the ducking. So here you go. Okay, now we're going to go and see what's under this label for the battery. So I was there curious to see what kind of battery it is. I'll go ahead and remove this for you guys. 
Okay, so here you go. And the label, and then I'll give you a close up of the battery itself. There's date codes and stuff like that, private capacity. And we'll go and put that down. And then here's a better look at the motherboard. I'm not going to remove this shield because you can see it's soldered there. But you can see there's a nice um, heat pad there. You can see another thermal pad there too, which is pretty nice on the heat pipe. They did a really good job on the cooling on this, at least for a phone. I'll put this aside. Okay, and now for the last part, I did put it back together. And we'll go and see if she powers back on. Yep, this is a good sign. So she does work after the teardown. And we'll go and wait till this powers all the way back up. There's the AT&T logo. Mm, there we go. And she powered up, so this is good. Go and power her down. And this will conclude the teardown of the Samsung S9 Plus, pretty much. So this concludes this video.